Hello everyone, this is us. J I'm James Harvey and this is Jay Kylie. And today, we will discuss about different kinds of animals. That's right. And this is a slideshow about animals. Herbivore, omnivore, and carnivore. Those are the three types of animals. Carnivore animals are animals that eat meat. They're very dangerous. Right? Yeah. They will bite you. And herbivore animals are animals that eat plants. And omnivore animals are plant and meat eating animals. So, these are the animals. This is an African buffalo. An African buffalo has a coat that's short and can vary from red to black. It has a thick and both horns. Wow. Mm. And it's a herbivore animal. So it's not very harmful. Yeah. Sharp horns. Right, Kylie? Yep. Felidae is this animal is called Felidae and yeah. it belongs to the family of cats. You look like cats. Yeah, it looks like a cat <coughs> because it belongs to the family of cats. They are mammals and they have good night vision to the presence of Tapetum lucido which reflects light back inside the, uh, their eyeballs. It's like they have superpowers. Yeah, and they're carnivores. And this is a porcupine. Oh, these are really sharp. And but don't don't touch. Don't because you think so, Kylie? Yeah, they're so sharp. They are called kills. Yeah. Like what I said before, a porcupine has black and white kills <coughs> along its back and neck. The kills are erectile <coughs> and can be up to fifty centimeters long. Wow. They use it to protect themselves from enemy. They are omnivore, yeah, which means they eat both meat and plants. They bark roots, fruit, berries, and also insects. Hyena. And this is a hyena. That's right, Kylie. It's a hyena. A hyena can be Dirt yellow or red in color with dark brown spots. Yes. They have erectile mane and their tails have a long black brush at the end of them. Yep. A brush. And they are very dangerous to humans. You know why? Because they are carnivore. They, they might bite you that will hurt llama yeah that's a llama llama has a dense wool coat of variable color and markings yeah Mark. and they are herbivore they have wide they eat wide varieties of grasses and leaves Whoa. They have really long necks, don't you think so, Kylie? Yes. And this is a American bison. Yeah. The American bison is a brown coat with longer hair on its head. Yeah. With long hair, head over here, shoulders, and four legs. They live in grasslands and forests. They are herbivore. They eat grasses and leaves. Leaves. Yeah. And next is a water buffalo. Yeah. Just like. <coughs> yeah. Just like the previous animal. This. Next 
is our national animal called Kalabaw. Yeah, they also call it Kalabaw here in the Philippines. It is our national animal. Yeah, and it is our national animal because they help farmers plow the field. Yeah. They live in wet grasslands, marshes, pools, wallows, rivers, and woodlands. They are herbivore. They eat grasses, aquatic plants, agricultural plants, and leaves. And this is an Australian lion. sea lion. No, it's not a lion. It's a it's sea an Australian lion. sea lion. Yeah. The male Australian sea lion is a chocolate brown color with a golden white crown and mane. The females are silvery gray above and they live in rocky bays for birthing and sandy beaches for loafing. They eat crustaceans, fish, and cephalopods. They are carnivore. And this is an Asian water dragon. The Asian water dragon is green color. It's green colored. It has a vertebral crest and light body bands on its sides. Yeah, right here. They live in tropical rainforests and they are carnivore because they eat arthropods, frogs, small lizards, and birds. And frog. this is a frog. Yeah. One of the animals that the Asian water dragon eats. And frogs are large carnivores and are diverse. They are short bodied and tailless amphibians. They are about 4,800 species present in the world. Wow! So there are a lot of frogs around here in the world. So, this is the first most prohibited in order. It is the tree ki it is tree chambered hut. Yeah. And its locomotions are jumping, walking, running, and swimming, swimming, and burrowing, climbing, and gliding. Yeah, so they can do a lot of things. And this is a chameleon. It changed color. Yeah, that's right, Kylie. It changes color. That's what's so amazing about it. It is classified under the classifications of Elguana. There are about 202 species in the world. Wow! So, there are only a few chameleons left in the world. They are almost extinct, which means they are in danger. They have the ability of changes, changing colors, like what Kylie said before. Yeah. And next is a crocodile. Yeah, like the hyena, crocodiles also eat meat. They're carnivores and can all also be dangerous to humans. These are large aquatic reptiles which live throughout the tropics in Asia, Africa, Australia, and America. Yeah. Speed of diving will be 24 to 25 kilometers per hour in water short bursts. Wow, amazing, right, Kylie? Yeah. There are a total of 14 extant species. Yeah, these are mostly found in rainforest areas. And next is an animal called Nilgai. It kind of looks like a horse. Don't you think so, Kylie? Yes. It, 
It looks like a horse. Yeah. He have no tail. The Nile guy is the largest Asian antelope. It is a majorly present in India, some parts of southern Nepal and eastern Pakistan. Males has horns, whereas females don't. Yeah. So, males has horns. So, which means this over here is a female. Males are larger than females. These are herbivore and prefer to live in low hills with shrubs. These types of animals give birth one at a time. And sometimes twins. Twins. Right, Kaylee? Yes. They're sometimes twins. So, this is a lion-tailed macaque. You like lion-tailed? Lion-tailed macaque is the name of a monkey, okay? It's not a lion. It is an old world monkey. Wow, really old. Special feature of this animal monkey, it has hair around its the face like a lion. That's why it's called lion-tailed macaque. These belongs to a group of smaller macaques. These animals are mostly found in tropic evergreen forest. Younger ones are nursed for one year. Whoa. These are herbivores and they avoid humans. They do not eat meat. Mm -hmm. And they can be friendly sometimes. They're not harm harmful. And this is a Rhinosaurus. Yeah, no. Horn. Yeah, yeah. It really has a long <coughs> horn on its above its nose. Yeah. It is classified into lower classification as black rhinosaurus and upper classification as adult ungulate. Running speed of rhinosaurus is fifty kilometers per hour. Wow, even faster than a crocodile bursting to water. These animals are herbivores. So they might look scary but they don't harm any humans. They don't mean don't they mean no harm. And next is a deer. Deer. That's right, Kylie. It is classified under the classifications of Pecora. Species include mule deer, white tailed deer, reindeer Red deer and follow deer. Wow. You look like that's a lot. Santa Claus. In this these animals are mostly seen in African and Asian forests. These are herbivores. Whoa. Bear. Yeah, that's right, Kylie. That's a bear. <laughs> it can run up to 48 kilometers per hour in adult stage. Only in adult. They're not so fast when they're still young. Localization. Seen bear are moaning, huffing, barking. Wow, they also bark like dogs. And also growling, roaring, and humming. They eat most plants but become omnivores in opportunistic conditions. And next is the lion, the what king the of the jungle. The and beast. it reminds me of a movie called The Lion King. Yeah, it's a very great movie. Yeah, you've also watched that movie too, right, Kylie? Yes. I'm pretty sure you've already watched that movie, guys. And that dangerous school, yeah? Yeah, it's really dangerous. Because you know why, Kylie? Because they eat meat. And they are very active when they're hungry. They're carnivores. And these animals are classified under the higher classifications of panther. Whoa. These are 
purely carnivores. Yep. It is one of the five big cats. Wow. So they also belong to the family of cats. There are about 12 species of lions recognized so far. Majorly, lions are seen most in Africa regions only. Oh, so better not worry because they can be only found in Africa. They don't exist here in the Philippines. Rabbits. That's a rabbit. So, rabbits are small animals from the family of Leopardy. These animals are found in several parts of the world. Any rabbits? There are about 13 species and 8 in general. Hmm. Yeah. It reminds me of a movie called Peter Rabbit. Yep. Yeah. It's a very funny movie. Young rabbits are called as kitten or kit. Male is called as buck and female doe. Rabbits are most active at dawn than dusk. They sleep for 8.4 hours. These are herbivores. The next, I think I've already seen the picture. Ram. Yeah, it's ram. This American bighorn sheep is brown with white rum patches. Both sexes have horns, but however, males have larger and more strong horns. So, they live in high mountain pastures. They might look scary, but they're not. They, they are also herbivore. They eat grass, young plants and flowers like all other herbivore animals and next is a yak okay so the yak has a black brown shaggy coat with white around the muzzle so here. the shoulder hump is often drooping the yak also has two long spreading horns. Whoa. For sharp. They live in alpine tundra and ice plateaus. They, also, they live in really cold places. Herbivore. They are herbivore. They eat grasses, shrubs, and snow for water. Zebra. Yeah, correct, Kylie. That's a zebra. A zebra is white to yellowish coat with light to dark brown or black stripes. There is a great variation in stripe pattern. They live in grassy plains, lightly wooded savannas, hills. They are before just like the yak the grass leaves sedges and bark oh look the beautiful yes. patterns right Kylie yes we love beautiful white but from black to white yes and next is an Australian pelican What's that? An Australian pelican has a black rump, shoulders, and center of upper wings. All other feathers are white. They also have black. Yeah. They also have black feathers. They live in so no they live in the seas. Yeah. Fresh and salt water. They only eat fish, but they are carnivores because they eat other meat from 
other animals. And this, reindeer. Yeah, a reindeer. Which carries Santa Claus sleigh. Yeah. Reminds us of Santa Claus. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse on a sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Yes. Okay. He can so, fly. Yeah, they can fly. But, no, they cannot fly. Yes. They might fly in, in movies. Yeah. But, that's not true. Reindeers all only walk and run and they eat grass and lichens. They are the caribou, the caribou is brown in the summer and gray in the winter. It has a white rump and tail. Yeah, a very short tail. And no naked patch. They live in Tundra woodlands. Grass? Yeah, just like I said, they eat grass and things. And next is an African jacana. Yeah. But why is small? Yeah, uh, because it's a bird. Oh. The African jacana has a brown body with a bright blue frontal shield and beak yeah they have extremely long toes and a white foreneck and face he lives in the water no it's not an aquatic or a, or water a type of animal oh he lives in the water they they live in tropical wetlands marshes rivers and lakes. Yeah. They live by waters but they don't they said that. Yeah, they do live under waters but they don't breathe. Yeah, they they only breathe air. So they are omnivores which makes them eat both plants and meat. Right Kylie? Right. And this kangaroo. Is, oh yeah, it's a kangaroo. He has a baby here. Yeah, a baby kangaroo. Because a baby kangaroo right in her, her, her belly. Here. And kangaroo varies from red to blue gray. Yeah. The undersides are white and black. And there is a white patch on the sides of the yeah, white patch. And their habitats can be located on grassy arid plains. They are herbivore and they eat green herbage. And that's koala. the koala. Yeah, he has a baby here. Yeah. Just like the kangaroo, he, the mother carries her baby. So, the koala. Oh, don't you think the koala is really cute, Kylie? Yes. Super cute. So, the koala has a great two tiny coat. It has a white patches on its chin, chest, forelimbs, and rump. They live in eucalypt forests below 600 meters in elevation. Wow! Yeah. And they are herbivores, another friendly animal. Okay, guys, that's it. And next is fruits. Yeah, we're going to learn. Oh. 
and we're done about animals and now we're going to learn about fruits. fruits. Yeah, we're going to talk more on about fruits. Kinds of fruits in Philippines. Yeah, in Philippines. So these fruits uh, mostly be found in the Philippines. Okay? Let's mm. start. Papaya. Papayas uh, are really healthy. The possible health benefits of consuming papaya include a reduced risk of heart disease, diabetes, cancer, aiding in digestion, improving blood glucose control in people with diabetes, low, lowering blood pressure, and improving wound healing. Wow, so papaya can really do, can really help you in lots of things, lots of cancers. So you guys should really be taking these fruits. Papayas are an excellent source of vitamin C and one single medium food provides 224% of recommended daily intake. Wow! wow. Yeah, really effective. And next is the mango. Philippines national fruit. Mango. Yeah, that's right, Kylie. It's mango. Mango. So, here are some benefits of mangoes you may not have known. Many mangoes. Mangoes helps in digestion. Mangoes could help facilitate healthy digestion. Promotes healthy gut, boosts immunity. Yeah, strong. It makes us strong. It means you will not get sick easily. Yeah. Lowers the risk of getting sick. Yeah. And promotes eye health. Yes. Lowers cholesterol, clears the skin. Even diabetics can enjoy it. Yes. Next. And AIDS weight loss. Next. Next. Atis. Atis. Atis or or sugar apple. Yeah. So it is sometimes called sugar apple, but Atis is more common in the Philippines. Yeah. First of all, the sugar apple pulp is high in carbs and is also rich in phosphorus, vitamin C, and calcium. The Atis fruit seeds contain neutral resin and alkaloids. Yes. And next is dragon fruit, my yeah, favorite. Yeah, the dragon fruit, Kylie's favorite. But my, my favorite fruit is apple and mango. Okay. All of fruit, my favorite. Dragon fruit. Sounds familiar like... How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, I remember the movie How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. It really, it's really a nice movie. Yeah, don't you think, Kylie? Yes. Okay. So, anyway, let's, talk. let's go back to the dragon fruit. Here are seven health benefits of dragon fruit. All based on evidence. High in nutrients may help fight chronic disease. Extra loaded with fiber promotes a healthy gut. Strengthens your immune system just like the mangoes. May boost low iron levels. Good source of magnesium. And next. Next. Is... Coconuts. Hmm. Reminds me of a movie called Coco. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Remember me. me. As you Say goodbye. Remember me. me. Don't let them make you cry. Okay. So coconuts have good source of of yeah. 
It's good source of nutrients and may have antioxidant properties. They may have benefits against diabetes, may help prevent kidney stones, support heart health, reduce blood pressure, and beneficial after prolonged exercise. They are delicious. Yes. yes. Have you ever tasted a coconut before? Yes. What about you, Kylie? Oh, I can taste coconut. Yeah, you have tasted coconut before, have you? Yes. And next is pineapple. pineapple. Look the okay. sign. Look the sign. I remember the key. Hmm. Um, knowing about pineapple makes me think of a the game called Pineapple Pen, Pen on digital. Yeah, that can be done in Play Store. Uh, by the way, pineapple is loaded with nutrients. Yeah, nutrients that contains disease-fighting antioxidants. Yeah, its enzymes can ease digestion, may boost immunity, and suppress inflammation may ease symptoms of arthritis and may speed recovery after surgery or strenuous exercise. Wow. They really can make you fit. And next is grapes. Okay, grapes. Mmm, mm, yummy. So, yeah. I remember the grapes farm in La Union. Yes. Me too. My father's province. Yeah. Yeah. So the nutrients in grapes may help protect against cancer, eye problems, cardiovascular disease, and other health conditions. Resveratrol is a key nutrient in grapes that may offer health benefits. Grapes are a good source of fiber, potassium, yeah. Okay. How many grapes should you eat all day? That is the question. So, for me, uh, you should be eating 11 grapes per day. Grapes are the perfect addition to your 1.5 to 2 cups of recommended daily fruit intake. Yeah. And next is watermelon. What's Watermelons are said to be the ultimate summer food. Whoa. Whoa! Is that really true? Yes! I think so, Kylie. Okay, the cool sweet juice and crunchy flesh make it a popular dessert. Yeah. Eat it in the fresh wedges or use it to make a nice summer cocktail. Yeah. We have, they will really have they are mostly put it on Filipino recipes. Red watermelons are the most popular variety, but yellow watermelons is also remarkably sweet and definitely worth a try. Yeah. Rambutan, yeah. my favorite too. Here in the Philippines, Aguna Rambutan is one major food producer. One of the major food producers. It decreases unwanted fat. The fruit can be effective in reducing the body's fat content because of its high fiber and water source of iron. Skin and hair care, rich in its rich in vitamin C, improves sperm quality and it's also anti-cancer. Mm -hmm. And banana. next is banana. Hey, do you remember the song? Banana, 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 banana. Yeah, reminds me of a Minions. movie called Minions. Yeah, banana, 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 banana. Anyway, uh, speaking of Minions, bananas are respectable sources of vitamin C. Yeah. 
Young Ganesh and bananas. It's good for your skin. Right, Kylie? Yeah. Good for your skin. So, we... It's really popular in provinces, especially in Mindoro. Yeah. Yes. Bananas can aid digestion and help beat gas 